Fox 61, the Connecticut Office of the Arts, and the Connecticut Department of Education have all partnered on Connecticut Creative Futures. It's an arts-based initiative designed to highlight Connecticut artists and careers in the arts, and also to offer hands-on arts projects for all students and their families. The idea here, we just want to spread the word that there are all sorts of opportunities for creative arts-based careers in Connecticut. And joining me now, I'm happy to have two people, Stephanie Gibson, uh, let's just go with the lingo, she is uh, yes, uh, stage left, camera right, uh, she is a Broadway film and television actress and writer whose stage credits include Cinderella and Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, and there on camera left, Stephanie Stiefel Williams, a singer, actress, and co-founder of the Legacy Theater in Branford, where Ms. Gibson will be teaching and performing coming up in a couple of months. And uh, we're going to start with you, Ms. Gibson. Thank you so much for taking the time to join us. Please give us uh, the, the story of how you got into your career, how you got to where you are now. How did it start and how did you get to that point? Oh, my goodness. Well, thanks for having me. Um, gosh, it's such a long and winding journey, but it all started um, selling dance lessons in the front yard in Houston, Texas. <laughs> <laughs> for a quarter to the neighbors. Um, and then from there, I was off to the races. You know, um, every summer I was attending um, a Broadway musical theater camp in Tampa, Florida called the Broadway Theater Project. Um, I was constantly training my whole life all through you know, high school. And I ended up going to the Cincinnati Conservatory of Music for college. Mm -hmm. um, and that was a very uh, intense program that prepared us for the, the real world. Um, and from there, I moved to the city and, and was off and running and feel so grateful to have have stepped in and been able to uh, to do this thing and to to continue to work and grow and, and keep taking on different projects, yeah. uh, all different types over the years. Uh, was there any more moment where you just felt like you had to take a leap to trust yourself and trust in your abilities to make that move out to the to the city? Absolutely, absolutely. Um, I Many moments, that, many moments. I can't even think of a particular one because it all feels that way. It all feels like a huge leap every time. It's just a, a leap of faith every time um, and just trusting your gut that this is what you're supposed to do. So that's what I did and I continue to do. <laughs> <laughs> yes. And it's, uh, it's very, very inspiring, as is the story of uh, Ms. Stiefel Williams. Stephanie, how did you go from, uh, I guess, a burgeoning career in the law to wind up f being a co-founder of the Legacy Theater? <laughs> well, I guess it's uh, it, that it does sound kind of weird when you put it that way, but uh, <laughs> I had always been a performer even as a little kid, you know, hearing Stephanie talk about selling dance lessons in her front yard. I was always doing stuff like that, um, teaching ballet to the other second graders in my music class and um, just always a performer, always making up dances and skits and things. And um, I continued performing all through high school and college and law school and then even after I stopped being a lawyer I um, continued performing and uh, as the years went on and I made friends and contacts in the theater business um, a, a friend of mine uh, Keely based in Knutson and I decided to form a theater company and we happened to find the, the building in Stony Creek that was in need of refurbishment and we bought it and we've just opened. We've had our inaugural season beginning in Wonderful. April. Wonderful. And like I said, Ms. Gibson will be uh, performing there in July. Uh, thank you both for the short time we had just to be able to give people that idea of how you got to where you are. Hopefully it will be an inspiration to people all over the state. And, uh, and thank you for helping us to promote careers in the arts industry. Thank you both. Thank My you. Pleasure. Thanks for having us. Yeah, glad to have you here. Remember, the Connecticut Creative Futures will also include profiles of local artists as well as live themed uh, arts themed interviews like we just did right now every Friday in the 10 a.m. hour here on the Fox 61 Morning News. No matter what kind of artist you are, you can create your own creative future. For more information, go to fox61.com slash ctarts.